Hi, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about altering a card from the Close to My Heart Artfully Sent collection. We're going to be using paper patterns from Digital Delights by Luby Lou, the Spring Has Sprung collection, and the sentiment is from Cricut Happy Mother's Day. So let's get started. I wanted to make this card for the Cut It Up Challenge, which was to create something with three butterflies for a Spring Has Sprung Challenge. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and get the three butterflies. And what's more spring than Mother's Day? Unless it might be Easter, of course. So I decided to go with these lovely pastel colors from Digital Delights and the Happy Mother's Day sentiment for my spring part of the card. So let's take a look at how I altered this to make this work. I've already pulled in the card and I know that I'd like for it to fit an A2 size envelope, which means that the card can't be any taller than five and a half inches. So let's go in and just take care of that to start with. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to keep my dimensions the same. Come up here and change this for a height of 5.5. I just type that in, hit return on my keyboard, and now I have the correct size for my card. Now I want to go in and I want to keep this butterfly. So we'll call him butterfly one two, three, four, we want to keep butterfly four, one, four, and five, six, seven. Okay, so one, four, and seven we want to keep. All right, so we're, we can't do anything with our contour until we detach this line. And now we can choose this and we can go in and change the contour. So here it is. We know we want to keep number one, get rid of two, get rid of three, keep number four, get rid of five, get rid of six, keep number seven, and get rid of eight. So we have one, four, and seven still in place, and we kept the outside in place. Now, I decided that, yes, I like this butterfly, but I wanted to move more towards the center. So what I did is I did a command copy or a command C. So on my keyboard, I'm hitting command C. Now I'm hitting command V. That's copying this. Now all I do is I come in and I go back to contour and I get rid of this butterfly this butterfly and the outside. And now all I'm left with, see right here, is that butterfly. So I hit my X here, okay? And I just sort of set him off to the side. Now I come back to this card, the card I'm working on, and I hit contour again, and I get rid of number seven, X. Now I'm gonna change his color just so it's easier to see, okay? And I'm gonna bring him in, I kept him the same size. I'm gonna put him right here towards the center. And I'm just gonna use this little turn button and just slightly turn him and put him right down here, okay? Now, I take my mouse, I select that butterfly and the card I can come down here and hit slice. And I can just pull that out. Now I have that cut in place. All right. So I can get rid of these now. I don't need them anymore. Now I'm going to move this to the back. And see, my score is still right there in place. But before I do this, Again, I'm going to copy this whole card because behind here, okay, behind here, 
I have this piece of paper that comes in and gets taped into this right hand side over here. And then when the card gets opened, see, you open it and you see this. So you can write, you know, a note to your mom or you can uh, just sign it or whatever you want to do there. Now I'm going to show you how I did that here in just a minute. I'm going to move this over a little bit. First, let's talk about this. This I kept as just a, uh, a die cut that I could cut and just glue on to the front. You could, however, print that on if you wanted to. I just chose to make it a die cut so that it would just have a little more dimension. All right, so moving on to how I got this paper so that these were in exactly the same spot. All right, I took, let's just move these up again. I took my card now the way it is and I have not added my um, fold line yet. Okay, I've not added this line yet. It still is not attached. So I'm selecting the card itself hitting Command C, Command V. I'm making a copy of this finished card. Now, I know that I want the inside piece of paper, okay, let's just pull this out, to be approximately 3.765 by 5.43, all right? So I'm gonna come over here to Shapes, pull in a square, I'm going to size it to the size that I have here, um, 3.76 for the uh, width. Okay, so I'm just typing this in on my keyboard. I'm hitting enter. I'm unlocking it because if you keep it locked, it just stays a square. So you have to unlock it. And now I've got to choose a height and we said the height was going to be 5.43. So we're gonna come back to this, type in 5.43. Hit return or enter on your keyboard. All right, now let's just put this back up here and get it out of the way. So I'm gonna put it in exactly where I want it, right here. I want it to be white. Now I'm going to pull this back to the front. All right. Now I need these three butterflies. So again, I'm going to come down and hit a Command C, Command V. Pull this over. Come back down to Contour. I'm going to get rid of this. And now I've got those three butterflies I want. All right. Now, I have to ungroup them, all right? And the only way to do that, that I know of at this point, because see, they're not, you can't say ungroup here. So if you come in and hit a shape and you hit, you can hit any shape you want. I'm gonna choose a circle, all right? I can come in and do this. Select both. Okay, so what I did is I covered up both of these butterflies with this big circle. I'm gonna select the butterfly and the circle and hit slice. I'm gonna pull away this black circle and pull away these two black pieces. Now these are still exactly where they were on the card. Do you see that? Exactly where they were. This, okay, these have been cut apart. So now what we wanna do is these two are still connected together this one is, is cut apart from it, all right? I can show you that and then do an undo, all right? So see how I can pull that away? Okay, so I can come up here and I can undo that. It'll put it back exactly where it was before. Now let's get that shape again, pull another circle. Let's just cut this butterfly away, all right? Slice, pull away the gray circle here, pull away the gray butterfly. Again, these are still situated exactly where I want them, okay? 
All right, now I can come in and I can change what these look like. All right, so I'm gonna choose him. And let's see, I made him purple. So we come up here and we hit the no fill and we say we wanna print him. We don't wanna print him pink, we wanna print him a pattern. And we did him in this. And pretty soon you're going to see him turn pink. Now him, we want blue. So let's hit this print. We don't want him to print pink. We want him to print a pattern. And I've already loaded these into my Cricut program. Oh, I made them green instead of blue. That's okay, we'll make the other one blue. And there he's green. Now we'll make him blue. So we have to select him. Hit print. We don't want him to print pink, we want him to print a pattern. And we're gonna make him blue. Okay. Now, all we need to do now is group this as a group by selecting them both, bring them over, and put this right into place like so. Just line it up where you want it. Okay, now you can come over, click anywhere on your desktop here, Come over and hit, see where this pink is right here? Or you can just hit this and there it shades darker. And just pull it away. And that's where that needs to print. So select it all. Okay, I'm just using my mouse, left clicking, select it all. Come down here, say flatten. Okay, it's right down here in this column. Now that's going to print and cut. And when you make your card, which is up here, okay? Bring this to the front. And there we are, ready to roll. Now we don't need this piece anymore, so we can get rid of that. We can pull the um, this piece out again. This is it. And what I'm doing is I'm selecting here. I'm gonna send it to the front. There we go. Now I'm gonna take this and send it to the back. The way I'm doing that is I am right clicking and saying send to back. Okay. Now, if you wanna make sure that this is still in the middle, cause we have moved this around some, you can select both, come up here to align, and we can say to center. There we go. While it's still, both pieces are selected, we just say attach. And now when you run this through the Cricut, it will score with your scoring tool and it will cut with your cutting tool. This will go through print and cut, okay? And I'm just gonna double that up. There we go. This will cut out of whatever color you choose. So when you assemble this card, you'll simply take this and um, let me just reverse this for us for just a minute so I can flip that. So now this will be the inside of your card. You'll just take this and you'll just, when you fold this over, put this in where you want it and then tape it in place. So close your card, stick this in and line up your cuts with your colored pieces underneath and just hold it there with your hand and then flip up this corner and then tape underneath here. 
And then you'll just tape or glue, whatever your favorite method of gluing is, glue this onto the front of your card like so. Now, obviously, if you want to cut this in white and you want to see it in white, you can just pull this and say, I'd like to change that to white. You don't need to, just make sure you put white paper in, obviously. But that's how you change it here on your desktop. Okay, so that's how simple it is. You're simply going to print and cut this piece. You're going to uh, cut and score this piece. And then you'll cut this out of whatever color you like. You'll tape this into place on your right hand side here. Open up your card, then close it back down. Make sure you see the colors through your cuts and then glue it into place or tape it into place. Close your card and then just tape this onto the front of your card. And then this is what you end up with. All right, any questions, comments, please don't hesitate to ask. I also made an envelope to go with this. Um, I didn't do a video for that, but if you'd like to see a video on that, then just let me know and I'm sure I could shoot one of those out for you if you had questions about that. But you'll note that I did cut this butterfly well, I, before I adhered him, I copied him two more times, made him larger, and that's the butterfly you see on the outside of my envelope. So again, any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.